Two longtime figures in the South Dakota law community are receiving a prestigious honor. South Dakota Supreme Court Chief Justice David Gilbertson and the late Justice Stephen Zinter will both be the recipients of this year's McCusick Award. It's named after the late Marshall McCusick, who dedicated decades of his life to the legal profession and the USD School of Law. In tonight's Eye on Kelly Land, Kelly Volk explains how this year's honorees were much more than just colleagues. South Dakota Supreme Court Chief Justice David Gilbertson only has months left in this office at the state capitol. He considered stepping down a little sooner than mandatory retirement at age 70, but that changed with the passing of Justice Stephen Zinter. We had newer justices on the court and in a conference that was decided that because I had been around long enough and, and kind of knew the system that it would be helpful for me to stay on. Yeah. Chief Justice Gilbertson first started serving on the Supreme Court in 1995. Justice Zinter would be appointed in 2002. I mean, if you would come here on a Saturday, every Saturday he'd be working here, and oftentimes on Sunday too, besides the other five days. The two men started building their bond back in the 70s at the University of South Dakota School of Law. The classmates remained close friends over the years. Chief Justice Gilbertson describes the fellow justice as delightful and someone with a great sense of humor. The day of his funeral, I told uh, Bishop Zelmer, I said, I just lost my best friend today. And the bishop smiled and said, well, you're the 12th person that told me that today. Justice Zinter died in 2018 after undergoing repair work on a hip bone. I asked him before he left, I said, is this serious? He says, oh, absolutely not. The news he later received would leave him stunned. The night before he passed away, he was working with his law clerk over the phone and uh, seemed to be in good spirits. The surgery was over. It had been totally successful. And that night his heart gave out. And of course that had your heart and your hip bone don't have much of a connection. So uh, nobody believes that it was caused by that surgery. It just happened. While the two friends can no longer be neighbors at the state capitol and pier, they will both share the honor that is the McCusick Award. It's even more prestigious to me personally because it was co-recipient, my good friend, the late Justice Stephen Zinner. The award is presented by the Student Bar Association of the University of South Dakota School of Law. You know, Steve was a magical person and he left a tremendous legacy across South Dakota in a variety of capacities. But I think one of the most important things to remember about Justice Zinner was friendship. He made friends easily and kept them uh, forever. And Dave Gilbertson was one of his longest closest friends and the opportunity to have this award reflect not only excellence in the practice of law, but excellence of friendship is really special. I have no doubt if he had continued to live, he would have worked until he had hit mandatory retirement. It was what he, besides his family, what he really lived for. But now it's his legacy that lives on. I think Justice Zinner's opinions will stand the test of time. And when you look at an opinion written by him, you'll know it's a quality opinion. As for the Chief Justice's legacy, he says he'll let others make the judgment call on that. I hope I left this place better than I found it. Um, and I'll let others decide the specifics because it's pretty hard to judge whether you succeeded or failed maybe in a task. I tried my best and um, I'll uh, let uh, the citizens be the judge. But he's leaving this office in January with no regrets and years of memories with his best friend. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Kelly Volk. Justice Zinter's family has provided Kelloland News with a statement saying that Justice Zinter would be humbled to receive the McCusick Award and honored to receive it alongside Chief Justice David Gilbertson. You can read the full statement on this story on Kelloland.com. The two will be honored during the virtual State Bar Convention, which is tomorrow.